what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um you guys in this video all i'm doing is simply uploading a list um from a previous um crm and um i wanted to kind of show you how i do it inside of kartra now there's a few steps so um let me make sure i have the actual correct email um, and hopefully, hopefully this works, but this is exactly how you do it. But it's just, it's just the fact that this email that, that I'm going to have to put in that better work, that email. So, um, this is for those of you that are still Mickey Mouse net and, and juggling multiple softwares. You got click funnels for your landing pages and you got one of these email autoresponders for your email. And then if you're building, you know, courses or any type of digital, product a lot of you guys are using kajabi or teachable or some third-party software like that right and so when it comes to building a business online there's really these basic tools that we all need landing pages email automation those two services alone are the most important and then and then and then you have your calendar so if you're a coach if you're a consultant if you're if you're building any type of agency or anything like that and you're going for appointments if you're a real estate agent and you're going for appointments, then a lot of you guys are using this free software, which is Calendly. And um, this is a basic online calendar scheduling software, but um, you can only have the free version for so long and then you end up you know, having to freaking upgrade and pay. Um, and so, and it's actually more than $12 per month. I think they get you like at 20 something a month before it's all said and done. But landing pages, email automation and your calendar three services right there three monthly bills three headaches um, with Kartra I use everything so again with all these different emails you're paying a second monthly service whether it's this one right here active campaign a lot of people use MailChimp a lot of people use and this ain't, this ain't cheap um, this one over here is keep keep but it you it, it it's actually um um infusion soft so they just changed their name i guess um send lane this one over here it's like you could do 14 days 14 days but then you're then you're paying seven seventy nine dollars a month so it's like i, I got seventy nine dollars a month plus my ninety seven dollars for click funnels you guys get the point right so it's like dude what i'm doing in this particular case is a friend of mine i'm logged into my my friend lorraine's account um and so she said, David, I have this list from this other CRM, my other, her other email autoresponder. And she said, David, can you help me upload it to my Kartra account? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so all you're going to do is you're going to come in here to Kartra. And by the way, if you're new to Kartra, if you're new to my channel, I use Kartra for all this stuff. So everything I just mentioned, everything is in one. Okay. My digital products, I can package them all up. I can sell them here on Kartra. Um, my communications, which is my email autoresponder, and my email list. My pages is all of my landing pages. So I can build funnels like crazy all through this one My Pages tab. Um, my form is the form that is on a landing page. Um, so when you go to a landing page and you enter your name and email, that is a form. Um, I can create different forms independently inside of here. My memberships, for those of you that have digital courses, that's what that is. I host my entire course. I have 50 videos inside of a thousand dollar online course. All of that is hosted on Kartra in my memberships. And then my videos, I can either host them here or I can host them on YouTube, like this one that you're watching now, um, or I can host them on Vimeo. You could totally host them here. And then my calendar. So for those of you, man, that are again, playing around with free softwares, you know, like the Calendly's, like things like this. It's like, dude, bring it all into one. And I use my calendars right here for all of my appointments. Um, and then what I can do is I can package different parts of my funnels. I could package it all up and I can sell it. Or I could package it all up and I can share the code which I have another video on that coming out here in the, in the next few days where I'm packaging up all these different funnels and I'm simply sharing the code with one of my clients um, so she can import all of my funnels into her account. That's all done in my campaigns. And then for those of you that are affiliates, I know this was supposed to be on uploading a damn email list, but hey man, 
shit, it is what it is. I got to, I got to, I got to talk about all this stuff, dude, because it's crazy. My affiliates, um, this is for in here, there's, there's a marketplace. So just like ClickBank, you know, just like JVZoo, just like these major popular Amazon or affiliate marketplace platforms where you can go in, you can become an affiliate, you can start selling their offers. In here, there's so many different niches and offers that I can simply get a link for and start promoting those programs. Um, I can also package up my funnel, put it in the marketplace and sell that as well. And this marketplace is open to every single Kartra user. So this is not the general public that would be seeing this stuff. It's everyone who is, who is already in the Kartra community that have access to an account and they can log in and, and they can look at what you know offers are available to either purchase or to promote. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So that's everything inside of Kartra. So right now, man, um, and then my help desk, that's another one that I don't really use, but that's super powerful as well. That's like your Zen desk. I don't know if you guys ever, you know, you're on different websites and there's a live chat or you email a company and there's an automatic reply from a Zen desk. It's like an automated email reply. Dude, I can set all that up inside a Kartra. That's my help desk. And this can be its own little automated service where it makes your brand or your company look like a multi-million dollar brand because you have this automated customer service in place and their automatic replies getting people's questions answered. Um, so it's pretty, pretty cool, man. Um, and then, so now let's focus on my communications. What I'm going to do is I have this long Excel spreadsheet list of emails, names and emails that again, she simply downloaded. I think she downloaded them from MailChimp. I think she had a MailChimp and then now she just took everything off of MailChimp. Um, she downloaded it. So whatever software you guys are using, you can easily download that list into an Excel spreadsheet um, or some CSV file. And you can take that list and upload it to Kartra. So there's a few steps and I'm going to walk you through it. So Here's what you have to do first. We have to go to that Excel spreadsheet. So I, she emailed it to me. I got it right here um, in my downloads. It's right here. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to turn it into a CSV file. Okay, It has to be a text file or a CSV file. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you just have an Excel spreadsheet, um, that's kind of what you want to have. And then you just simply come in here and you hit file and we're gonna save as. So now we're gonna save a second copy of it. And I can just save it in my downloads. And this one I'm going to save as, you see how the save as type is Excel workbook. So it's saved as an Excel spreadsheet, right? What I wanna do is I wanna save it under a CSV. So I come over here and I'll go, um, I guess I can go CSV comma delimited and there's a few different csvs but i'm gonna go with this one right here comma delimited i don't know what the hell comma delimited is but it should work for sure so i'm going to save it under that and what i'll do is i'll just change the title and i'll go take that part out so it's not the same exact save title and so i'm going to save that now Okay, some features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as a CSV comma. Do you want to keep? Yeah, because all I need is all I need is the name and email. So do you want to keep using this format? Yes, let's just do that and let's see what this brings us. So I'm going to close that out. There goes my new file. Okay, so it's right there. That is the um, new comma separated values file. And that's the one I want for Kartra. Okay, so I'm going to come in here, my communications list. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit the green button and I'm gonna name this list um, new CSV file. Okay, and then public description. Thank you for subscribing. Or thank you for, thank you for, thank you for your interest in real estate. Okay, so this public description, this right here is what your users will see when they want to unsubscribe from this list. 
or sequence, okay? So describe the purpose and benef benefits of this newsletter so they can better remember the reasons they originally subscribed. Okay, so I'll just keep it that simple and then I'll hit next. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an opt-in form, import leads back to the list. I'm going to import leads, okay? And then I'm gonna hit next. Okay, cool, so here's where the magic happens, okay? so. There's a few steps, as you can see here at the top, um, upload leads, match fields, filter records, automations, questionnaire, import and finish. And it's the questionnaire, and it's all it's not a Kartra thing, it's a can spam thing, the whole can spam laws or whatever the hell. Um, in the questionnaire, there's a few questions that they're pretty much asking, um, Kartra's asking on their behalf, but we have to answer them. And, um, and that's to ensure that this is not a list of people that never subscribe to you, right? That's what the whole can spam thing is, is all about, is the fact that people don't wanna be spammed. So don't be uploading a crazy list of people that you necessarily, it's not that you don't necessarily know them because you can easily buy list, but all this is is they wanna know where the hell you bought it. Like where, where did you get the list or how did you get the list? So we're gonna go through the steps and I'll walk you through it. So import file, we're gonna, um, Browse files, and I'm going to grab it from my download folder, and it's going to be this one right here. Okay, perfect. Record successfully uploaded. We're going to, um, I can restart and start again. I can upload another batch. I can save and next, and this is what I'm going to do. So please select, I want uh, first name. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave or create a new field. I'm going to say ignore this field. Actually, you know what? Let's go with, this is going to be obviously email. So let's change this one to email. And um, let's, let's go with this one. Let's go with, um, I'll just put this, because that's not exactly how the name is laid out, but I'll just put it in the middle name just in case. And um, let's see if I can, Let's see if I can ignore this field. Okay, so let's save and next. Okay, so 6,400 uploaded, 13 filed, 63 duplicated. Okay, perfect. So filtered records. Okay, great. We're filtered. 4,202 will be, will be imported. Save and next. Okay, so we don't need to assign a tag right now, but we do want to subscribe it to a list. So yes, subscribe to a list. Let's see if I have one already. Yeah, new, new CSV file. So that's that right there. We'll add that. We'll hit save. And if I didn't have that list, then I could have easily just created it. So yes, subscribe to a list and I can create a new list if I didn't already have it. But I, I, I walked through this prior to me getting on with you guys just to make sure I knew what the hell I was doing. So, but again, the only part we may get stuck on is a questionnaire, but we'll see if we can get past it with, with, the, with, the, with this email that I have. So save and next. And then please tell us how you collected these records. And I'm gonna just put customer, customer mailings, damn it. No coffee this morning, you guys. I'm a little freaking crazy. Are they hosted in a commercial CRM? If so, which one? And I'm gonna put, um, Let's see if I can get away by putting no. Okay, so website URL. Add the website URLs you built your mailing list from. Okay, you will need to confirm that you're the owner of this site. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in, let's go with um, HTTP. L-O-R-R-A-I-N-E. Okay, so now it's going to ask me for, if I add this, <clears throat> let me make sure I'm spelling that right. Actually, it's, okay, so L-O-R-R. -R. Okay, so let's add that. <clears throat> and then we're going to submit and then confirm ownership of your website. So type your email address. So now it wants L-O-R-R. -R. Okay, so check. Back. 
Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm telling Lorraine to check that email for a confirmation. Get check. Okay, so it should be a confirmation from Kartra. Okay, so if I hit send, okay, sent. Okay, so confirm ownership. Okay, perfect. So that's that. And then, so that should be a verification code. You should get a verification code. Ver Okay, so all you got to do from this point on, you guys, um, and I don't know if Lorraine is busy, but I don't want to keep you guys waiting. All you would do from this point on is you would check your email, you would get a verification code, you would click submit, and then you would go through step four, five, and six, and that's it. This confirmation is the most important. Um, and then you're going to import and finish, and that is it, okay? So make sure that that .com, that you have a website. And, and you don't have to be super crazy specific with where did you get the list as you put, as you've seen what I put down. Um, I just put in customer mailings and I put in, I even put in no, right? So this is the verification part that they want to know. Is that, is that, damn, that's not even the right damn email. What the hell? Let me save in next. So I obviously duplicated that. That is not how the email was supposed to go through. So here's the deal, you guys. That email obviously might not be, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it read it, but if it didn't, if it took it like twice, that's the email right there. But then why in the hell is this part, you know, there? So obviously put in the right email, check the, for the verification code, put it in right there. You will hit submit, they'll verify it. You'll go to step four, five, and six. And that's it, you guys. So that is how you import your list. So wherever, what I'm telling you, man, whatever other CRM you're using, whatever email autoresponder you're using, you're using, it's not necessary. You can use Kartra for it all and absolutely keep it simple and crush it. So there's a 14-day trial in the description, you guys. Profit with Kartra.online. Um, I don't want to keep you waiting because she hasn't checked that email, nor is she going to even get the correct email. So I'm going to have to do it again. But as I do it again, it's the same damn thing. Um, I'll put in the correct email and it wouldn't be, you know, double like this. And um, that will actually allow me to complete the process and have that 6,400 list in Kartra. All right, guys. So step your game up, man. Profit with Kartra.online. And when you set up your 14 day trial, message me, hit me up, comment below. Let me know you set it up and I'll give you my time. I'll help you. I'll get on a call. We'll, we'll set up a strategy call. I'll walk you through it and help you get off to a fast start. All right, guys. So profit with I'll see you on the next video.